Afternoon guys, back with another video. This is my G.I. Joe Adventure Team LEV, Light Exploration Vehicle. As you can tell, I got a custom decal, annotate sat. This is based on the Mattel Halo line of large figures. I guess they'd be called Titan figures in the Hasbro universe, but these are very similar to the Titan size figures, limited uh, articulation, whatnot. But they I came out with a large vehicle. It's based on the Warthog platform, I guess, from the video game Halo. Uh, for a, I'd say three or three or so years ago is when these came out. They were fairly expensive, 40 bucks, but there must have been a large surplus of them because I got this for like $15 on Amazon shipped free over Christmas a few years back. It sat around my workshop for a while before I decided to customize it. I really kind of checked out everybody else's customizations before I came up with my own take on it. As you can see I haven't really done a lot of changes to it body wise. I did remove the uh, cannon. I haven't done anything with it yet. I might make a net cannon out of it or, or whatnot, but right now it's just uh, storage. I put these uh, Cotswold collectible storage crates in it. Decent cargo area. Fairly roomy. You can get some gear in it. I got a uh, G.I. Joe sitting in there. I did all my custom decals, same way I always do. I'll do a tutorial one of these days. I added a few kind of little cool customization decals to it. Cargo area, step, storage. This G.I. Joe Adventure Team vehicle. This decal. I'll say a few things about this. Well, first off, the obvious thing. I took off their crappy wheels and put on some Tonka truck wheels. And I'll talk about that in a second. This isn't really a 1-6 scale vehicle. It's a little bit smaller than 1-6 scale. I think the, the Halo figures are probably around 10 inches tall. So you can see this G.I. Joe is a little stuffed in there. Um, he doesn't fit in there too good. I'll set him up here for scale so you guys can get a good look at the size comparison. Sorry, it's taken me a little while to do this because this guy's body doesn't want to stay stood up. Anyway, here's a size comparison. It looks, it looks fairly to scale, but it's really not. Like I said, he's stuffed in there a lot. So be aware of that if you do get one of these and customize it. Your standard G.I. Joe's probably won't fit as well as maybe like one of your classic collection super articulated G.I. Joe's. I've put one of those in there before and it fits pretty well. But anyways, let me take this guy here and put him off to the side and I'll talk about this a little more. Like I said, I did the tires out of a Tonka truck platform. Um, it's fairly easy to do. I took the, the vehicle apart and made a jig and took a drill press and drilled holes in each one of these axle pieces and then attached it using a carriage bolt and just a standard uh, nut so they they roll and it's really really nice I've did this for a few people who sent me these in the in in the mail when I first uh, did this customization um, I just painted the hubs black kind of to give the give it a nice finished look. I did some I did some detail work on the dash. I gave it uh, some gauges and the GPS system. It was a really simple custom to do. It's easy to do because you can take this whole thing apart and paint it. I will tell you that it has a shoot pot load of screws so if you do buy one of these and decide to take it apart just be aware 
not to lose your screws. Um, it's a pretty neat vehicle. I think I was more impressed with it when I first did it than what I am now. The more I kind of mess with it, the more I just don't really like the scale too much, but it is what it is. I did the custom fuel tanks. I think this is one of the best things I've painted as far as customizations go. Um, it's a cool vehicle. I mean, the neat thing about these these larger scale vehicles from like Mattel and Hasbro is that you can take these and you can kind of kit bash them and make your own vehicles for your GI Joe venture team or your villains line. This is no different. You can still find these, I think, on Amazon. I've seen a red one, but it's like 40 bucks. So I think if you're savvy and you look around for a little while, you might be able to find these. I know they don't sell them in the stores anymore, I don't believe, but um, it's a cool little project. If you're looking, I would suggest actually doing this if you're looking to like find something to paint and customize right off the bat. And like I said, the wheels are a little more involved if you don't want to use the normal crappy wheels that come on it. Uh, like I said, I put these Tonka wheels on it. So Actually, the funny thing is, is the four Tonka wheels cost me about as much as the, the whole Halo Warthog uh, vehicle did. So Tonka, Tonka wheels aren't cheap, but I like to put them on a lot of my stuff. If you saw my... Sasquatch hunting set. I put the Tonka wheels on the GI Joe five star Jeep, which may look pretty cool. So, this is my uh, light exploration vehicle LEV based on the Warthog platform from Mattel Toys' Halo line. And I hope you enjoyed this customization. I've been putting a lot of content out lately because I've got a lot of free time, it seems like, at night. Uh, putting a lot of photo stories together. I've got several videos I've got shot. I just need to clean up before I post. And I really hope you guys are enjoying these. Uh, like and subscribe to the page. Leave comments. Always appreciate the feedback. You can follow me on Instagram, jshear74 or skunk underscore work74 or toys and brews. I have three different inst Instagram pages. So. I appreciate follows on there too, and I'll follow you back. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Cheers.